Good morning. Yeah, how we doing? My name's Tony Smith, and we're just about to get to my garden there. We've got some tools, some technology, well, technology, got some skills to weigh day to day. Well, it's really get, for me to give you my thoughts on the grafted tomatoes, Johnny's grafted tomatoes. We don't need glasses, I call them. Man, that really gets on my nerves. So, just to bring it up to speed, if anyone hasn't viewed, I had six plants by sent over by a viewer who's got a YouTube channel, Johnny's Kitchen Garden. And by all means, I'll put a link there to Johnny's channel and, and have a look and please subscribe. Now, normally, for me, normally, I buy in my grafted tomatoes from, I think it's called Dobies. It's not like Dobies. I think it's Dobies. And they're a Bellarico, the, the name Bellarico, but they didn't have them this year. Now, I don't know if that was to do with COVID and, and lockdown and all that kind of things, but they didn't have any and I didn't get any. Johnny stepped up to the mark and says, I'm doing my own. Which I just think, straight off the belt, is, is a brilliant, you know what I mean? To tackle that, to challenge that. So we sent them over, and they came fantastic, lovely packed, and everything like that. And I want to now give you, because we're at the stage where I'm picking Johnny's fruit. And as you can see, now they've all got different names. He did six varieties, and one didn't make it, one didn't put a fruit on. I I forget what it was called there now but I want to just pick some and weigh them because the, the I want to pick them that color just so they last a little bit longer in how I don't want them like totally red and then they've got to be used straight away but I want to weigh them as well so I'll get my little setup now I'm using my little secateurs to cut them and it goes without saying I've got to be very careful because I'm prone to cutting me and the the stems so and another thing please I'm gonna see what my weight is of my biggest one and in the comments let us know what what size yours is do you know what I mean what what is the ultimate weight you've achieved because it's always nice just to kind of compare and I'm saying that's probably my biggest one down there it's not the prettiest but it's probably my biggest so I'll get that weird before the cut and the snips, what do I think? Well, if I'm honest, I don't think they're as good as the shop-bought Bellarico ones. Now, I don't know what, if that's just, you know, Johnny kind of mixing and matching with the, the root stock or I don't know how it's, you know, we've getting to this point, but it's not, I don't know how Johnny's getting to that point with his mixing and matching, but the root stock and the, the Bellarico tomatoes for me, gave a much bigger bigger crop and I'll tell you why I'm noticing is purely the stop there can you see there's really not much more after that that's gonna even take its place you know that's so basically once all this fruit down this bottom this lower say two foot three foot of plant of fruit is gone that's really it you know I mean the northeast of England they aren't gonna come back with some fruit you know I've got some little ones there but they're not going to turn into anything you know what I mean that, that'll probably struggle to get anywhere now with the Bellarico if you remember last year when I had them there they had fruit all the way up so these ones were going red now and, and the big these ones were coming a little bit later and at one point well actually the four plants because I had the four plants in there if you remember every one of the strings snapped because the weight of them was that much now i haven't getting that with johnny's and again it's not johnny's fault it's just this is you know these might be varieties that don't kind of do much after you know the, the three foot i'm not 100 percent sure but one thing that i have really enjoyed is the tomatoes and the flavor i love and i've never grown these kind of bell-shaped tomatoes before you know just unusual shaped ones I'm, you know normally the kind of the beef tomato is that you know the classic shape but these ones are something you know special in Belamonte I think this one's called just 
lovely and a lovely taste as well and you can slice this tomato with the olive oil and the oregano and the garlic and the lemon juice <laughs> just a fun an amazing taste but i would just want more of them so i've got my little scales ready there get that that's zero i've got a little basket now i'm putting the towel down because sometimes carrying them back home they get a little bit bruised and battered and it's just once you kind of break the skin that's it really you know what i mean you've got to basically eat them as quick as so and what i'm going to do is go for these big two big bell tomato ones there look at that they are just amazing mind you absolutely fantastic the weight of them two together right so it's just a beautiful shape tomato oh i nearly lost that one there i'll just take off that stem there so this probably looks my biggest one so if anyone's grown like a bell shaped tomato let me know if you've beaten this 715 with that one grams and this one a lot lighter 583 so 715 like a bell shape tomato like that what's your weight mine 715 right now those two big ones over there i'm just gonna cut this totally off there nice oh. so that plant is a sorrento and if you just look there I've only took the three tomatoes off and I think there's only one or well, there's two more left now I'm debating yeah I'll probably keep them on to be honest I was debating whether to actually take them off but they might just get a little bit bigger so they from a Sorrento we'll start with the little one first we've gotten 311 411 sorry just snip that and like you see there's a little bit of a strange tomato because you've got to cut see a good half inch down to get into the you know so you don't hit that nasty yucky bit right this one is 630 it's a nice size so this is me biggin right what have we got here Oh, shy of a pound 925 so that 925 that's my biggest tomato yet that I've grown and I possibly will I'm going to be picking some more I mean some of them will not you know this variety Albira might not you know they don't often probably grow that big so it's just the Sorrento is a big beef tomato but have you got a beef tomato that can beat that right let us just get these off and i'll get them all cut off so there we go that is the way well, that's not them all but that's kind of the, the the big the big batch and possibly the last big batch there'll be some you know coming up to that size but i think we can see that's kind of it so like i mentioned for quantity wise you know with grafted you always think you're going to get way way more now i haven't with johnny's compared to the shop ones but what i have had is flavor i don't know it's, it's harder two things i'm doing you know what i mean I, I am doing a kind of little recipe with the olive oil and the, you know the oregano i am doing that i'm doing a technique where i seen i think it's a fork on a spin where he cuts his tomatoes and leaves them on a plate for about five to ten minutes to get the water out you know I'm, I'm doing that as well and like I say then the olive oil the flavor has been out of this world especially for like the, the bell tomatoes just absolutely delicious but there's nothing getting away from the fact that I'm gonna be running out you know what I mean I'm gonna have a few left and then that's it within the next say, a couple of weeks then these ones are finished you know so at least with like they say the little ones you know you've got that time there's a whole new they'll probably be done by the time it comes to be throwing these plants out you know I've, I've chopped them all off the tops with everything these brad's atomic are now starting to come and just a tip 
because there's a few people saying Tony when the because over here in the UK you don't really get them the mad colours but you get the mad flavours but just a firm squeeze you can tell just you know when they're ripe <laughs> pull one off and bite it you know what I mean you'll sharp tell if it's not ripe so conclusions there is it's a mixture Johnny's done an amazing kind of an amazing thing doing his own graph now we dice hopefully Johnny will come and give us a link you know to his thoughts on his final thoughts of the season what he's done what he might do next time for me it's been a good it's been a good it's been, it's been a freebie so <laughs> thank you Johnny but um, if Bellarico were there next year I'm probably going to go back to that I'm thinking because I do like grafted in anything I do like grafted you know so but I'm going to look for them tomatoes possibly as just a normal tomato and I'd just be nice next year to see what you get you know what I mean what the difference is anyways that's it look after yourselves take good care